Guys, welcome back to the homestead. I'm about to uh, install these three-way switches for my my overhead lights here in the mini barn. Just thought I'd take you along and show you kind of how I uh, I wire up these three-way switches so that they'll operate the lights uh, overhead. It's really not that difficult. A lot of people are afraid of working with electrical circuits uh, as long as you do it safely. Uh, turn off breakers when you're working with live electricity or know how to handle it properly. Um, it, there's really not much to it. I mean, uh, standard light switch will have uh, three wires. You've got your black, your copper or your bare, which is your ground, and then your neutral, which is your white. Uh, the black carries the power, the neutral carries it back to the breaker, and the ground is just a backup. It's actually the same exact thing as the neutral. And then for the three-way, uh, we're going to add in a red wire, and that's called a traveler, and that's just so that the electricity can switch back and forth from the black to the red, depending on which direction or which orientation the light is switched to. So I can just go to work on this and uh, wire it into the switch, and then we can uh, we can go to the other side, cut power, and uh, and wire that other switch in. So I'll bring you in here a little bit closer and show you how I'm stripping this. All you got to do is strip these back about. I like to go about three eighths of an inch. And that way, it gives me enough uh, enough room to work with on those. So that's our power, and here's our travelers and our neutral. So we'll just twist our grounds together. You just grab it with the end of the lineman's pliers, and just give it a little spin. I'll let that twist all the way down. And I'm going to need a wire nut for the neutrals to go together. So I'll be right back with that. All right, I got my wire nut here. This will just go on the neutrals and tie those together. Complete that circuit. You just line the ends up. Slide this over the end. Give it a little twist. So you just twist it until it starts twisting back on each other. And then we'll just fold this wire up and tuck it back inside the box like that. All right, so now we're working with our power feed and then our black and our red travelers that's gonna go on the switch itself. The first thing that we'll do is we will wire on our neutral. I'll just bend this around so that it'll wrap around the wire or the, uh, the wire will wrap around the screw just like that. And then we've got our little green screw here. Uh, you see it's attached to all the metal. This is our safety ground or just our ground. It's the same as neutral, but just in case something happens, it's there as kind of a backup so that it doesn't choose to short out through a person. All righty. We've got our two copper wires and then our common. We're gonna feed our power into the common. And that's going to be the basically the pole of the switch and then our true two travelers are going to go most switches have this little hole you can strip the wire back and just pop it right in there there's a little teeth that grab it and keep it from coming back out all right so there's our power here's traveler one here's traveler two all right and that's it easy peasy and I'll take this, bend it up and down, and it'll just slide right back into its little box here. Just like that. Okay, so that's this side. Uh, now we'll go to the other side. We'll cut power to that and then get that wired up. Hopefully it'll all work like it's supposed to. All right, so we're over here at the uh, light switch at the front. Now this is just a standard switch. We're gonna pull it out. So right now I've got power on and the light switch is on. So if I use my little power wand, let's turn the, got power there, got power there. If we turn it off, we got power there, but we don't have power there. Now if we turn the power circuit off, now we got no power and it's all safe to touch. 
little bit dark in here now, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Hopefully this shouldn't take long. Throw a screwdriver here. Disconnect our ground. And we'll just need to remember which one is the power feeding it because we're going to cap that off or we're going to actually tie that to our uh, power going to the other side and then this one is going to be going up to the, the light switch itself. I thought about putting a double game box in here but I don't want it to invade on this space that I have for tools. I don't have very much space in here as far as wall space so what I'm going to end up doing is when I put a light out front like floodlights or something like that I'm just going to mount a box right above it and run it to uh, run it that way. That way we're not doubling up space that's going this direction. We'll just tie these two together and we'll just put the wire nut on there spin it around until it starts to spin back up on itself just like that. Alright so now we've got our power feeding the power going back over to that other switch Got our neutrals together, and we'll go ahead and tie our grounds together. And one thing you do want to pay attention to is making sure that you have the right wire nuts for the size wire that you're using and the number of wires that you're using. So this one right here, well that just slid out, but uh, this one right here because I'm putting four wires under there, I got the, uh, the big one. That way I don't have to worry about wires not fitting properly as long as I put them in the right way there we go. I just need to strip back our travelers going over to the other switch And then here's that other uh, three-way switch. Again, our common, two golds, and the ground. Just like before, we'll go ahead and uh, wire up the ground first. Curl that around so it wraps around the screw. Now you want to wrap it around so that it, the screw tightens down on it. <clears throat> Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. If we wrap it around that way and we screw the screw down, it's just going to pull that wire good and tight onto that screw and make a good connection. All right, so that one's done. Now our two travelers are going to tie into our gold circuits and just push in to those little guys right there. It doesn't really matter which one. And then this is going to go up to the common. And we have done everything correctly. Shove these back up in the hole. Give it a little test. We'll turn on our breaker and then flip the switch. Pretty cool. Or a psychic charm. Right, so there you have it, three-way light switch wired up. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. See more of what we have going on here on the homestead. I'm gonna see if I can get this shop finished up, put everything back in and, uh, and put it back in a logical way. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.